everyone, my name is Carly Bodrug, your health reporter from Big Purple Couch. As you can see, it is a beautiful day on campus today and a perfect day to check out Western's very own Farmer's Market. This is fresh, sustainable and local food offered right in your backyard. I'm here with Gord Robinson who helped kickstart this Farmer's Market. So how did this all come about? But basically how it came about is, uh, I mean, really it's from uh, the student feedback we got from hospitality services a lot of the times. Uh, our director, uh, hospitality services, Frank Miller, um, he basically had stated, you know, we, we should get something like this going on. Most of the universities have farmers markets and, and you know, um, it really is about bringing the uh, farmer to the actual community where we're at, at Western. I mean, the reality is a lot of the students, we live in this world where, you, you know, you go to the supermarket and that's where you're getting your food. Now, we actually have farmers like this, like these people here and, and vendors that actually produce the product right around the local area, which, you know, basically the interaction between the customer and the farmers, they know where the food is. And that's, that's the exciting part about it. Um, you, we want to create a sustainable culture here and, and that's so huge here at Western. Um, so this is just the whole part and parcel of it all. And how has the response been from students around campus? Well, the response has been great so far. We've been running this for uh, four weeks now um, and it's been really good. I think from faculty to students, uh, you know, uh, it's so positive. Um, now the reality, if the weather keeps going, we'll have a great, uh, you know, market for the next, uh, as long as we can go. So why do you think it's important for students to have access to locally sustainable food such as these fresh apples and pears we have in front of us? Well, the reality is, if you stop and look at it, um, when you've you got to support your community. Um, we're part and parcel right there. Um, and, you know, um, being, in, being in the industry myself, um, it's great from a chef's perspective. We know what the product, we see where it's growing. We can actually talk to the farmer. Hey. What is it? You know, what's this? Like, what's it? What is this product uh, that we have here? Where's it grown? We know it better than getting something that maybe is truck ripened from, you know, down south or something like that. You know what I mean? So it, it, it's a good thing, and you have to support the people that are around your community. You know. Thank you so much. So you think you'll be coming back next year? I imagine they. Uh, I don't think the students won't will let us not. <laughs> so they'll be back. You know, um, and. With, with these guys, the, the farmers and the, the vendors, um, they're the ones that run it, so we're just you know, here for it. Thank you so much, Gord. Okay. I'm here with George Moravik, and he is a local farmer here at Western's Farmers Market. So how did you get invited to come and sell your uh, fresh produce here at Western? Uh, the university came out to the farmer's market at the Masonville Mall and uh, they asked us to come down and uh, we were pleased to do that and also uh, we thank them for the opportunity to be in here to provide fruit, uh, fresh fruits and vegetables for the students at the campus and uh, we found a uh, surprisingly well welcome uh, uh, experience here because most of the young people start to realize the farming is important and it's a way of the future and also uh, they have the idea, which is everybody should have, to support your local farmer and keep the farming industry going in southern Ontario and uh, basically in Canada because uh, if you don't look after our farmers, uh, it's going to happen that uh, third world country is going to be preparing our food, which we, I don't think we're going to like that idea. So uh, keep on going supporting your local farmers. How have you enjoyed speaking to uh, the Western customers here this year? Um, it's a group of people that is extremely knowledgeable about the farming, like I mentioned before. The students, also the staff is uh, welcoming us. They're coming out and supporting us. So overall, the reception was just great. I like it. Okay, thank you so much, George. I'm here with Nancy Abra, and she is selling some jam and lots of other things, it looks like. Can you tell me a bit about what you're selling here at Western's own Farmer's Market? Okay, um, I've got some jam, herbal jellies, some chutneys. Um, different things that I make. Some of the stuff is from my market, uh, from my garden, and and also uh, from local growers if I've run out so I know how it's growing. And I've been canning and preserving food for 41 years and I just love to do that, you know. Why do you think it's important for especially Western students to get in touch with the farmers who are actually making their food? Um, on a, a personal view, I think um, people should know where their food comes from. And also, if you put a voice to that, 
and a face to their food, I think it is important. And then they can know where it's come from, know how it's growing, and uh, um, yeah, I think it's important for them to do that. How have you enjoyed being on Western's campus and selling your own jam? Oh, it's been great. It's been really great. Well received and it's kind of nice for me to tell my story about how I love to cook and, and to garden. Thank you so much. Have a great day. Western's very own farmer's market is located right outside the Social Science Centre. It is open every Tuesday from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. and will hopefully continue far into the fall season, possibly going somewhere into the UCC when the winter season comes. So come on and check it out every Tuesday. My name's Carly Bodrug from Big Purple Couch.